Oh hi there, it's Falcor here and welcome back to my channel! So I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Falcor, this is... This is not the type of video you usually make, I'm... I'm quite, I'm quite shocked to see that that's what you're going to talk about. News flash, I am not going to talk about what the title of this video is. If you click through the title of that video for that reason, then I just ask you to just hold it there. You click through that potentially because of the title and the title that means is something that I uh, know quite well is something called clickbait. Clickbait, clickbait, clickbait. So the title and the thumbnail have been made together to like be the bait to get you to click it because you are like, what the hell? He's going to talk about that? <laughs> I need to find that out because I'm curious about that thing. I will never ever in my life talk about things like that. Not only on my YouTube channel, but just like not like really to people generally. Uh, and it's just something that I find quite peculiar. Um, as a gay man myself, um, I do find it quite odd how um, generally in gay culture, I suppose, um, that a lot of the time things always like kind of come back around to sex. And that's not because I have a problem with sex. Obviously I, I say obviously, it's not obviously. Um, I love sex just as much as anybody else. Um, sex is absolutely great. Whatever it is that we like are or whatever um, is not really anyone's business um, really. And it's fine if anyone else wants to talk about that. That is totally fine. But it just, I do find it quite weird that um, kind of, in, like, like I say, in the gay culture that it always kind of comes back around to sex. Mainly because like, I really don't like stereotypes and I don't like um, people making assumptions. And there is always that assumption that um, men and especially gay men are like obsessed with sex and are promiscuous etc etc and I think unfortunately and people might hate me for saying this but I think sometimes that the gay culture generally can be kind of guilty of perpetuating those stereotypes and I don't, I'm not saying I think that's a bad thing I don't really I can't really make up my mind whether it's a bad thing or a good thing it's just an observation that I've made it's not something that I'd ever want to talk about on my YouTube channel or to like random people not because we're like prudish or afraid to talk about sex but it's just because like I don't quite you know like sex and being a gay man is not the only part of my life and the only part of my existence and the only part of me and my personality so I don't always feel the need to like kind of like you know talk about that stuff all the time as I say it's fine if anybody else wants to talk about that and that is fine but I just find it quite not strange I don't want to say strange because it's not strange I just think maybe I don't quite identify with that and I don't think I've ever felt like I quite identify with the gay scene where people do like talk about sex a lot and there's a lot of like innuendo happens and stuff and you know I'm all for innuendo it's all it's all great and everything but I think sometimes it can feel slightly different when you're in those kind of circles of people and in that sort of world that world that does have a bad reputation for like I say like the whole sexual side of things promiscuity and I just don't like the idea that like there's a gay youtuber out there they use like those kind of clickbaity subject like how like how we like to have sex and they make a video about how we like to have sex and it's quite it's kind of like well you know there's actually a lot of other interesting things that you might be able to talk about and I get it I do you know what I do actually get it in some ways like there's a part of me gets it and there's a part of me kind of like struggles with it and I don't know why and like I have no fear of talking about sex like I say no fear fear of gay culture or anything like that I never have in fact I've always been curious of it and I have like you know embraced all these things before especially on the internet I can feel like there's a bit of clickbaiting going on and talking about those things just because they're kind of like they are those things that like people kind of want gay men to talk about and they want to see us talking about them because that's what goes along with the stereotype and it's a bit unfortunate really if that is the case so that brings me on to kind of talking about the clickbaiting thing so clickbaiting is a thing where you give something a title or you give it a thumbnail or whatever in order to get people to click the video and one of my annoyances especially in YouTube world is that people clickbait things in a peculiar way so they'll clickbait them to make something that actually is real and happens in the video sound worse than it is worse than it actually turns out to be in the video which I find quite annoying because I feel like it's misleading and I'm not going to point out anybody who does this in particular but there is a lot of them and especially a lot of the b b bigger more successful 
YouTube, I suppose, that have got many millions of subscribers or whatever, they are really bad for it. And I find it really annoying because like I say, I don't like to be misled. And when I see that thing and I'm like, sometimes it's quite like a shocking thing. And then I think, oh my God, what's happened? And I go to it, watch it. And then actually it turns out to be pretty much either not what they said or just a little bit of what they said, but literally not as serious as the thumbnail and the title have made out. And I find that very frustrating. And in some cases, it's a, it's a case of, like I say, using a stereotype or a stereotypical thing to clickbait as well. And I did this as an experiment recently. Now, some of you may know that I did Vlogmas in December, which is where you make a video every day in December, a bit like an advent calendar, I suppose. And on one of the days, we got a puppy. So on average, just looking at the stats of my YouTube videos, at my kind of like current, the current state of my channel, I suppose, my videos get between sort of 40 to 60 views, I suppose, sometimes less, depending on when I posted it or what it is. But interestingly, it got to the one where we got the puppy and I put the video on and I called it, we got a puppy and it says we got a puppy in uh, the thumbnail here we go we got a puppy now i am a partner in a network um on youtube and that means that i kind of get access to like a video optimization tool essentially and what it is is that when i'm giving my videos a title i might be revealing trade secrets here but when i type a video title in it gives me a star rating of the title and a star rating it's looking at other videos on youtube with similar titles and just basically making the star rating up out of sort of like what number of views and kind of response those videos have with those similar titles to tell me potentially what my video could achieve. So it gives it a star rating. And I put the we got a puppy in and it had like three stars, I think. And I was like, meh, because I'm not too bothered about them. Like pretty much every one of my videos that I post have the three star rating when I type the title. I only give a video a title of what the video is. That's all it is, it is within me to be able to do most of the time. But I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do an experiment. So I gave it a ridiculous title, which you'll see here gay husbands get a puppy and lo and behold the video very quickly got over 130 views when all of my previous vlogmas videos had had like i say between sort of 40 to 50 60 i tested the theory if you give something a kind of like stereotypical title that links into like us or something that is quite stereotypical and quite kind of in your face like gay husbands get a puppy and suddenly people wanted to watch that over my videos that they would see and wouldn't care about. So what's going on there? What is going on there? What is the f fascination with that? I don't really know what I'm trying uh, to get at here. It's something that I've observed and I am observing and I've just observed it. That's all I have to say in this video. You probably are just thinking, what are you talking about, Falco? Shut your face. And I'm sure there'll be some guys out there who might uh, be gay and might not like what I've said or have something to say about it or call me whatever, because that's just an observation that I've made and it is my opinion. And that's what these things are all about, isn't it? It's about expressing yourself and your opinion. And maybe that's the answer to my question is why do some people make those kind of videos about am I a top or a bottom? because that's what they're interested in and what they want to express themselves in. So that's fine. I've answered my own question, essentially. Boom! <laughs> Let's not even bother uploading this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, you just come across me, then please hit that subscribe button. Um, leave a comment if you've got anything to say about what I've been talking about in today's video and uh, we'll chat about it. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Oh my God, and one more thing, you know, one more thing that I just cannot stand for the life of me is that when someone puts a ridiculous video title and at the end they put in brackets, not clickbait. Ugh, so annoying. Because it so obviously is. Ah.